What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. On today's video, we're back on Infinite Warfare. Hopefully I can get a second video out. Depends on how fast this one gets uploaded. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes, sometimes it takes three hours. It really is all up to the YouTube video editor or the YouTube video uploader, I guess. It's not on my end, just sometimes videos take a long time to upload and this might end up being one of them because Infinite Warfare is a pretty massive game and there's a lot of happenings in it. There's a lot of graphical things happening there's a lot of movement and colors and it probably it'll probably take a while to upload but hopefully it can upload fast enough that i can get a modern warfare remaster video out as well but in today's video we're talking about camouflages in infinite warfare they made some changes to the camouflages there was a big update and they changed a whole bunch of stuff i'm going to be talking about the camos in general as they are a big part of my channel and then i'm going to be talking about the update in general i'm not going to go through every single patch update in this video just because a lot of it was very minor. I'm just going to kind of give you guys my impressions of the way that they've been patching this game. They're kind of attacking the minor things first and then going for the bigger things afterwards. And then uh, after that, we're also going to be talking about a channel update right here on Black Tide TV. So starting with the camouflages, I am on Redman's account because he happens to have the Hellstorm camo, which is a big topic of controversy recently. There have been codes going up on eBay and there have been YouTubers making videos about codes going up on eBay and a whole bunch of nonsense around this camo. Everyone's scrambling to get it. It was the it was a big part of the update to the camos on this most recent patch and it's now animated all of these special camos are supposed to be animated the bullet hawk camo is supposed to be animated that you get for purchasing a special edition of the game be that legacy pro or the digital deluxe edition that bullet hawk version or that bullet hawk camo is supposed to be animated but it's not um, this Hellstorm camo was also not animated when the game first came out, but they have added an animation to it. Now, that is kind of a big deal because it's the only animated camo in the game so far, as far as I know, unless there's like some kind of crazy epic camo. I mean, I have epic camos on some of my weapons, like the death camo. It's not animated. It's it's just cool looking. So this might be the only animated in the animated camo in the entire game so far, which is a big deal. So a lot of people are scrambling trying to find a way to get this camouflage. And unfortunately for you guys, the only way to get this camouflage is to purchase the digital deluxe edition. I know that's been a big thing on YouTube recently, a big thing ever like on the internet really. I've been seeing this all over the place. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. People are saying I, how do you get the Hellstorm camo? I want the Hellstorm camo. I, people are selling codes for the Hellstorm camo on eBay for a hundred bucks a pop. You can buy the whole fucking game for that much, dude. Calm down. So, how do you get the Hellstorm camo? You gotta buy the Digital Deluxe Edition. It's the only edition of the game that you can get the Hellstorm camo in. Go on to your respective store, your PlayStation store, or your Xbox store, and purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition of the game. You get this camo, you get, and it's personalization pack. There's also a calling card that comes with it. So you can get this personalization pack, you get the Bullet Hawk personalization pack, you get the Season Pass, you get Modern Warfare Remastered, you get a whole bunch of stuff if you purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition. Unfortunately, for those of us that purchase the Legacy Pro Edition, which is the actual physical copy of the game, that costs even more than the Digital Deluxe Edition, we don't get the we don't get the Hellstorm camo. It's I don't know why, don't ask me. Complain to Call of Duty, complain to Activision, complain to Infinity Ward, but by God, Complain to somebody because I'm pissed off about this too. I bought the Legacy Pro Edition, which is like an extra twenty dollars on top of the digital on top of the digital deluxe edition. Comes with like a steel book case and all this fancy shit. You don't even get the Hellstorm camo, so I, I don't know. But if you buy a physical copy of this game, you're not ever going to have the Hellstorm camo unless you pay some asshole a hundred dollars on eBay for it. And if you're at the point where you need to pay $100 for a camouflage pattern in a Call of Duty game, you need to reevaluate your life, I, I gotta say. So, that is how you get your Hellstorm camo, guys. Very simple. Don't listen to all these crazy YouTubers giving you all these weird stories about how to get it and how to unlock it in-game and where to buy it. And uh, No. If you want the Hellstorm camo and you did not purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition, you're out of luck. Just don't, That's it. You don't get the camo. That's that's the way it is. That Welcome to life. It's not fair. Let's talk about the camos a little bit. So the camos, they did update all of the camos in this game so that each camo does not fully cover we a weapon anymore. So before, when this game first came out and in the beta, weapon camos covered the entirety of a weapon. They, they, you didn't see like this little black, you didn't see like these black parts of the gun. You didn't see the camo like textured onto a weapon like you saw in Black Ops 3. 
for example, if you take a look at a Black Ops 3 camo, you've got like the camouflage, and then you've got like these parts of the weapon that don't stick out, that don't get camouflaged. I think it was the PO6 sniper rifle. No matter what camo you put on that goddamn gun, the stupid square default scope always stayed white. Always. No matter what. You could have dark matter on that thing, pur bright purple, wavy camo, and you've got this white, this big stupid square white scope. It's just the way that the camouflage patterns apply, and Infinity War was doing it right. When the game first came out, they had this shit down. They were like, yes, we are covering full weapons with the camouflage. The camouflage covered every single part of the weapon. If you got the whiteout camo, man, that camo looked good. Your whole gun was, ju it just looked like a piece of plastic. It was completely white. It honestly, it sounds ridiculous, but it looked super cool. It was This was like the first Call of Duty game that did that, that actually fully covered a weapon with a weapon camo, and it was badass. And they took that back. They have changed the camo, the way that the camo patterns apply to every single weapon in this game. And now you're going to see these little black highlights. You're going to see metal parts sticking off of your gun. For example, in the gameplay you see here, the Ump 45 or the MacTav 45, whatever you want to call it. It's got like this black iron sight and it's got like this black part on the top, which... It looks good enough, but honestly, it would have been much cooler if the whole thing was just red with Hellstorm with this moving animated camo. But I guess you just don't get that anymore. So, too bad, suck it up. I guess that's what Infinity Ward's saying. Completely change. I'm glad I didn't start first look camos on this game yet, because I would have had to go back and change things as, um... Well, the camo patterns are completely different now. I think they didn't actually physically change the camo patterns, but the way that they go on your weapons, completely different now. And uh, honestly, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous that they would have to go back and change something so silly. Speaking of ch of changing things that are pretty silly, let's talk about this update. So this update that went through, they changed a whole bunch of stuff. Everything that they changed was super minor. Everything that they, like, the camos, I, I should mention as well, when you go into your camo selection screen, now all of the camos have a rarity on them, so before you didn't know which rarity the camo was. Now each of the camos does have its rarity on there. You can pick which, which camo is the most rare to put on your weapon. They changed a bunch of little things like that. They changed, like, some mission teams and some typos and all the really, like, ridiculous, like, nitpicky things that you generally don't see them patch until two months into the game three months into the game when they finally heard enough about the y instead of an i and some stupid word on some non-existent menu halfway into the game Th those kind of changes never really happen like you don't really get a big patch note thing that pops up and you don't have to do a huge update on little tiny nitpicky things like that but it seems like that's what they're going for with this first update. Instead of patching the spawns, instead of patching the crypto key, or the, I, I don't even know what they're called, just keys, I guess, the key and the salvage drop rate, instead of patching things like the time to kill or the balancing issues or anything like that, they've gone and changed the really nitpicky, stupid, ridiculous things that nobody was really complaining about, and the camos, of course. So... I'm not really sure what the what the final game plan is here, Infinity Ward. But if you would if you would uh, go ahead and start patching the things that people have been begging you to patch since day one of this game, that would be great. It would it would just be magnificent if you could do that. I'm playing hardcore in this gameplay because uh, it's one of the only playable game modes in the entire in, in the in, in the entire game. Just because core, it's so imbalanced. The weapons are so imbalanced. The time to kill and the connection, it's just so freaking wonky that you can't even really play and have a half decent consistent experience in this game so hardcore if you if you haven't tried it yet i definitely recommend it it's a lot easier to control and it's, it's a lot more consistent just because regardless of time to kill regardless of connection you are going to drop people in one shot with most weapons across the map so it makes everything more more or less balanced there are some pretty useless things in hardcore in this game there's some combat rigs and stuff that you'll never ever have to use in in uh, hardcore but for now while we're waiting for them to actually give us an update that's going to change something significant i highly recommend you play hardcore now finally a little tiny update for my channel we have been growing in subscribers like crazy recently, so if you're new, make sure you hit that like button. Tell me if you're new in the comment section down below. Yesterday we gained 12 subs, today we gained 24, 48 for tomorrow? Uh, probably not going to happen, but it would be really cool. We are on track to getting 2k 2016 if you don't know what hashtag 2k 2016 is i'm planning or i was planning like way way back beginning of the year 
I had the goal of hitting 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2016. I did the math the other day, and to get to that awesome milestone before the year's end, we have to gain around five, five between five and six subscribers per day. And this last week, we've been gaining subs like like double or triple that each day. And if we could keep that up, that would be great. So make sure you're sharing these videos. Make sure you're hitting the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new, obviously, and tell your friends about Black Tide TV. We're gonna try and hit that 2K 2016. It would be really, really badass. I think of, as of this video, we're like 1730 or something like that. And it might seem a little like we're a little bit further away, but we have been growing like crazy. And it would be, uh, if we continue to grow at this rate, we will definitely hit it. So make sure you hit the like button, comment down below if you're new, subscribe if you're new to the channel, of course, and uh, share this video with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.